Have you ever wondered where happiness comes from? What if I told you that it was outside, waiting for you, and that you had to go and find it? Would you go looking for it? Hmm? Would you? What if I dared you? Double dare? Triple dare? Quadruple dare! I'm going where the dust never blow. I'm going where the dust never blow. My name is Captain Quinn, and when I am outside doing what I love with the people I love, I am happy. I enjoy exploring, spinning yarns, and fishing. I'm a father, and when I'm not fishing, I'm also a husband. Five years ago, I set out on a journey to explore how much our happiness is connected to healthy environments. So I moved my family to northwestern BC, a place with wild rivers and rugged landscapes. My approach was simple. Venture deep into wild places, interact with people who are living lifestyles that honor their connection to the environment, and of course, chase wild salmon and steelhead with my fly rod. What I found was that the healthier our environment is, the happier we are able to be. Nice, son! <laughs> this is Cast Northwest. I grew up on the Sunshine Coast, which is off the southwest coast of British Columbia. I've been fishing my entire life. And through my love of fishing, have embarked on many wild adventures to incredible places. It is through these adventures that I have recognized that a healthy environment provides countless exciting opportunities. Opportunities to engage with and honor our environment. Opportunities to connect with each other and ourselves. Opportunities to just be happy. In 1992, the entire salmon fishery on the Sunshine Coast collapsed, and it used to be world class. I got to taste a bit of it, but not nearly as much as I would have liked. When I turned 25, my friends and my family pulled off the first ever swim for the salmon. In 13 of the most physically strenuous hours of my life, with the support of my family and friends, I swam the 32-kilometer seashell inlet through the Skookumchuck Narrows, which is the second largest tidal surge in the world. Seashell Inlet used to get so full of salmon that in the summer it was said you could walk across their backs. I thought that if I could pull off the swim for the salmon, then we could bring salmon back to the Sunshine Coast. But it turns out, it's not that easy. It seems that the much better plan would have been to protect them before they were gone. I wanted to show the world how incredible healthy environments are, so I became Captain Quinn. Captain Planet was already taken. And I set out to promote the outdoors to save the outdoors through outdoor entertainment. I started documenting my adventures and sharing my stories. I never thought that it would turn into a career, but it has, and I think that's pretty cool. Did you clip your barbs? You remember to clip your barbs? Should have been here yesterday. Couldn't keep them off. What are you using? Muddler minnow? Wooly bugger? Egg-sucking leech? Hey, can I borrow some leader line? When I became a father, 
I was overwhelmed with wanting my children to have access to the same or even better outdoor opportunities than I had growing up. Oh. Fish. Big fish? I bought a bubble arm and shrimp on. Trout? What was I supposed to be doing? You were supposed to be finding a job and a house, supporting your family, but instead you were so enthralled with fishing up here that you could not take one day away from it. So you went out fishing, you got back at like eight at night. I was fuming, I was so mad. And then you... I, I checked my email. You checked your email and you had a job. I had a job and, and we had a place to you live. you checked your phone and you we got that sweet cabin to rent. Moral of the story, Listen to your husband. <laughs> let him go fish. When life gets hard, let him fish. Just let, just let him go. Fish. Yep, absolutely. It's fine. And now here I am, living with my family in northwestern British Columbia on the Skeena River, exploring the connection between happiness and healthy environments. I'm not sure what the future will bring, but I am excited to find out. Steel heading's hard. Fish of a thousand casts, you know. Got a spay rod here. 13 foot, seven inches. Eight weight, four pieces. Lifetime warranty. How's the visibility? About a foot. That's all you need. All you need is about a foot. You got your backing, your running line, your shooting head, your sink tip, your leader, then your fly. That's how it goes. They say if your arms hurt, you're doing it wrong. I'm always doing it wrong. I can do a snake roll. <laughs> Fish of a thousand casts, though. More like 10,000, huh? Hey, you gotta get it down. Mend it, get it down. <laughs> Fly fishing only. You chucking a Skagit or a Scandi? Long bellied Spay. Oh. You fish the riffle? Oh, look at that bucket. Four piece, not a two piece. Whoopsies. Nothing like a tight line grab, huh? The tug is the drug. Hey, do you think I need a weighted fly? Yeah, I could be a guide, but I don't want to mix passion with work. How much sink tip should I use? Five feet of T14 or 10 feet? I'm just gonna use an intermediate sink tip, I think. Maybe I'll throw on a floating line, see if I can get one on the dry. I fly fish only. Pretty long and clear today. Can you parry poke? Hey, I got a tube fly on. Snap tea? Squamish poacher? Egg sucking leech? Bulkley bomber? There's waterborne casts and there's airborne casts. I think I'm gonna skate it dry. Fly fishing's like poetry. They say I gotta read the water, but what language do you think is written in? <laughs> Nothing like firing a laser, cross a river into a riffle, drift through a seam, swing your fly, tight line grab, tug is a drug. You know, oh, fish of a thousand casts.
Sleep, fart, coffee, poop. Yeah. Sleep, fart, coffee, poop. Fish. Fish. Um, Repeat, Quinn's life. Yeah. One of my favorite things about fishing and getting outside is sharing it with the people that I care about. So when I heard that my dad and lifelong friend Nathan Robinson were coming to visit, I couldn't wait to introduce them to steelheading. And I wondered if through this experience, they would find this place as wild and as incredible as I do. Hi, I'm Kelly Barabash. I currently live in uh, Kelowna, British Columbia. I'm up here in Terrace, British Columbia. Visiting my son, my grandsons, and uh, his wife. It's uh, beautiful up here. It's lots of wilderness, great outdoors, snow, rain, cold, you name it. It's got it up here, along with the wildlife and uh, awesome fishing. When uh, Quinn was young, I was teaching him how to hunt and fish and target practice. Uh, bow, rifle, trolling, fly, and now I'm, I'm up here in Terrace and he's teaching me spay. My name's Nathan Robinson, uh, pretty much close to a lifelong friend of uh, Captain Quinn. Uh, been about 27, 27 years approximately that I've known him. Um, we, I first more or less met him um, as a preschool student uh, going to Welcome Beach Preschool in uh, Half Moon Bay, British Columbia. I guess, you know, like I've always sort of shared a common interest in terms of outdoors and, you know, just natural surroundings and uh, sports as well. Um, if, you know, if you're familiar with like early 80s Edmonton Oilers, he was more or less like you know, kind of the Gretzky-ish guy. I was Curry, setting him up all the time in soccer. Um, he got majority of the credit. I did most of the work, majority of the time. Um, because of the friendship that I had with him, um, it's given me, you know, that much more of a reason to, to come and, uh, and spend some time here um, in an environment that he loves and, and one that I want to learn about, so. The fishing with the old man took me fishing lots as a kid. Always outfished him today, hopefully. Oh, oh, oh. For his sake, he outfishes me. Bit of a grueling hike in here, especially if you've just had hip replacement surgery. Who caught the big one last time we went fishing? Who caught the most last time we went fishing? <laughs> yeah. You did, actually. I did, actually. So he's gonna go through there, swinging a little sink tip. <laughs> and he's never caught a steelhead before. He definitely doesn't know what he's doing uh, with the That's double hand. <laughs> so let's see how this goes.
He can catch a steelhead here on the spay rod, which is something that really excites him. Even though he has no idea what he's doing, it's something that he is learning and he's really keen to learn. And it's just really cool seeing out him out here, being out here in his element, uh, trying something new. And I just really hope he gets into one. It'd be pretty cool. She goes, awesome, Quinn. You see how she swam away yeah, real yeah. Oh yeah, fast. strong, <laughs> real strong. When it went under the ice, I thought, that's it. It's cutting off. But, um, well, I could have used a better net, man. I know I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are in, in this healthy river system that has healthy populations of fish, and that directly affects our happiness. For sure. Like, how do you feel right now? Oh, I'm stoked. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're going to tell this story. I, I feel like I could almost make it back to the truck now. <laughs> <laughs> Is your hip any but, you, your No, hips, I don't feel now. any pain. Everything's <laughs> numb for told down, so um, this froze. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> well done. I was pretty grumbly after that. You said a kilometer in, but it was more like seven. <laughs> That's the best hook I've ever seen. Hey, is that a fit? No. I know it then, I know it now. You'll always be the only one for me. <laughs> so I'll write a thousand love songs and I'll sing them loud so everyone can hear. I loved you then, I love you now, and I love you for another thousand. about twice the size of yours. Oh, oh well done, Nate. So I'll take it. That was uh, yeah, pretty cool experience. Thank you. <laughs> Two people never uh, who you and Kelly have never spay fished before. Never spay fished. Never like intentionally like like oh I'm gonna go steelhead fishing. Like first time steelheading. Beginner's luck. The only yeah. person who hasn't come in today is me. 
<clears throat> Let's note that. <laughs> Let's pay attention to that. A healthy environment provides countless opportunities. Opportunities to explore, to survive, to fish. It's a vast playground in which relationships are born and nurtured. When we explore our outdoor passions, we honor our relationship to this world. We connect with Mother Nature, we connect with each other, we connect with ourselves. And through these connections, we can find happiness.